Paolo Francesco Radmilvic, 1886 to 1968. Paolo Radmilovic, or Raddy as he was affectionately known, was born in Cardiff, Tiger Bay on the 5th of March 1886. His father had migrated from Croatia in the 1860s, becoming a well-known publican at the Glastonbury Arms and Butte Dock Hotels. His mother was born in Cardiff of Irish immigrants. In 1904, Paula migrated across the Bristol Channel to Western Supermare. The River Taff and Cardiff Canals are said to have been Paulo's first swimming pools, which must have required determination of mind and resilience of body. It worked. For in 1901, the tough 15-year-old became water polo's youngest international player. Six years later, the Thames played host to another river challenge, where he cruised to victory in the open water five-mile race. Then, in 1925, at the relatively grand old age of 39, he dived into London's East India Dock to claim the English Long Distance Championship. Though Paulo is rightly admired as a national hero in Wales, truth is, he's a Westonian. His Olympic career began in 1906, two years after he had settled permanently in Western Zoukmer where he was to live for most of the following 62 years. In 1908, Raddy won gold as part of the British water polo team and in those same games he also triumphed as a last-minute stand-in by winning gold in the 4 by 200 metre relay race. His third gold came in the 1912 Olympics with a fourth in the 1920 Antwerp Games though a final whistle ruling in favour of Raddy's goal and against the home team required Belgian police to give armed protection to the British victors. He participated in the Olympics of 1924 and 1928 before retiring at the age of 42. Raddy's record of four gold medals remained unbeaten until Sir Steve Redgrave won a fifth gold in 2000 later honours. In 1967, Paulo was inducted in the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Florida and the Welsh Sports Hall of Fame in 1993. A plaque celebrating his 1908 performance was unveiled in 2012 at Cardiff International Pool and paid for by the Welsh Assembly and the London Olympics Committee. He remained a fully committed supporter of Western Swimming and Water Polo Clubs and was a regular at the Old Knightston Baths and in later years was a keen player of snooker and golf. It's rumoured that an interest in boxing helped enormously in his publican's life. Western Tooth Mayor Town Council unveiled a blue plaque in his memory at the Imperial on 30th of March 2017, commemorating this world-famous Western sportsman who, following the 2016 Rio Games, is still ranked Team GB's sixth most successful Olympian, along with Matthew Pinsent, Laura Trott and Mo Farah. For two decades, from 1905, Paulo was licensee variously of the Globe, the Cavendish, followed by a period at the York Hotel Bath, Sutherland Hotel and Glasses Hotel in Weston. Then between 1927 and 36 was at the Railway Hotel, that's today's Tavern Inn, before a short spell at the Plume of Feathers in Minehead. He returned to Weston in 1950 when he became licensee of the Imperial. The Paulo was never associated with any seafront hostelries Many mementos of the great man can be seen to this day in Raddy's Bar at Princess Royal Square. Paulo died on the 29th of September 1968 and was buried in Weston's historic Milton Road Cemetery where Margaret, his wife for 59 years, was also interred following her own death in 1971. They were survived by three children.